Hi everyone, today is Friday, November 4th, 2016. So it's the 4th, for the 4th age that we're in at the moment. And essentially, um, they've just come out with this new Wonder Woman trailer yesterday, on the 3rd. And we're going to break this trailer down, because it has loads of Illuminati Freemason symbolism in it. Right, first of all, straight away, the Illuminati Pyramids, right there. Wonder Woman, by the way, represents the Woman of Revelation as well. This woman right here. This heavenly woman. So does Gal Gadot, who plays her. Wonder Woman is just like World War, because of WW. It even has a lot to do with when you type in a website, you, you, you type in www. I used to want to save the world. This beautiful place. Do you see the great maelstone coming down right there? And then it lands in the sea. Just like the beast out of the sea cabin. But the closer you get, the more you see the great darkness within. All of this um, water has got to do with a flood coming. We scroll down on, on Revelation 12. See the woman gets carried away at the flood. And then Wonder Woman mentions darkness then, which represents just like a time of darkness coming across the air. And then that, you, you saw that boat then, that represents the ship of souls that leaves for heaven. Just like this oil ship represents that same ship of souls. This oil ship represents the eagle granted to the woman of Revelation 12. See this? And to the woman we're given two wings of a great eagle. There's our eagle right there. More on that later. Actually, this Alice in Wonderland character represents the woman of Revelation 12 as well. And then that that guy probably represents the first horseman who comes with a bow and arrow. I learned this the hard way a long, long time ago. Oh, actually, it was it was actually a woman, I think. What is your mission? To stop the war. What war? The war to end all wars. Now, any normal everyday person would think, oh, they're obviously talking about World War II, which they are. But there's actually a hidden subliminal message in that because they're actually also talking about World War III, Kevin. Weapons far deadlier than you can ever imagine. Weapons far deadlier than you can ever imagine. Just like nukes come in, see? And then this gas mask is massively significant. It represents just like the, the empty child in Doctor Who. And remember there there was a, I think there was a gas mask in um Captain America's Civil War as well, if I remember rightly. Like it even has a lot to do with a certain mural that I think it hangs in the main bank of America. If we if we get this out real quick.
where is it to this one right here see this guy wearing a gas mask he has the great sword for world war three that comes out of jesus christ's mouth and there's that eagle see that that, that dove there that represents that eagle <clears throat> <clears throat> and then, um, I guess, like, Satan comes out of his door or something. And then the type of Nazism rises. And then, um, he throws this thing, which creates this explosion. See how that explosion looks like that nuke, see? Wherever you are, you are in more danger than you think. I cannot stand by while innocent lives are lost. And then Wonder Woman has a shield, um, just like Captain America's shield. And she has the great sword for World War Three. The, the sword that comes out of Jesus Christ's mouth. Because Wonder Woman's sword represents just like this sword here. Be careful, Diana. Who is this it also has a lot to do with Princess Diana as well. She's my um, secretary, sir. <laughs> She's a very good secretary. It is our sacred duty to defend the world. And it's what I'm going to do. And see, she was going up the ladder, just like going up into heaven. Because this woman has to go up into heaven when she's granted the wings of a great eagle. Oh, that's massively significant. See, Diana, the woman of Revelation 12, she comes through the glass. Just like in Alice Through the Looking Glass, the movie, Alice goes through the mirror. Remember, the mirrors are basically made of glass. So you see how significant that is. And then she and then Wonder Woman's wearing blue for Jesus and Israel and Jacob. See this guy right here with this sword? He represents just like this guy here with this sword, see? And then the, this smoke represents the 911 smoke beast rising. Well, it, it, it looks like the smoke is being formed by, like, dirt and dust and such. Watch as Wonder Woman takes out the pillar. Just like taking out one of the pillars of Freemasonry. 
So when, when she takes out the pillar, that represents that there's no more grace and mercy. Like, because there will be no more grace and mercy at the end of days. Like, it represents just like the Twin Towers being taken out. See, even the Wonder Woman logo is like that eagle of Revelation 12. Like... <clears throat> And then um, this horse is significant as well because um, there, there's like loads of pictures of women on the internet uh, uh, of um, of women who represent the woman of Revelation 12 riding a horse. Let, let me show you. Just type in high rise. This is an example I use all of the time. See, Sienna Galori represents the woman of Revelation 12. Just like Wonder Woman and Gal Gadot do. That is why Wonder Woman is riding a horse. And that is why Sienna Galori is riding a horse there. Like, we go into my images a minute. See Liam Rhymes? She represents the woman of Revelation 12 as well. And that's why she's riding the horse there. Yeah. See, she's wearing white for heaven. See, she's wearing white for heaven. See, she's wearing white for heaven. See? And then... Tom Hiddleston is basically this dragon mentioned here that comes after this woman. Because this dragon is Satan. So Tom Hiddleston and the dragon represent the same as this guy here. Like, and even, um, like the Nazi that's shown in this, um, Wonder Woman trailer as well. The, the one, the guy that had the sword. This guy. <sighs> Thank you very much, everybody. See you all at the wedding feast of the Lamb. And keep faith in Jesus Christ and God. Hallelujah. And then, finally, Leia Sadu. She represents the woman of Revelation 12 as well. That's why she's pictured with this horse there. 